I'm not the biggest Tarantino fan around. I do really enjoy his movies. I've enjoyed all of them except Death Proof, but there are some consistent issues I have with his films since he departed from the crime dramas like Reservoir Dogs and Jackie Brown and adopted a kind of cartoonish style. That worked well for Kill Bill, but he seemingly hasn't let go of it since, having it seep through the celluloid in Inglorious Bastards and Django Unchained. The Hateful Eight was a breath of fresh air in that sense because it was different, it was small scaled and there was a, not a lot of room for Tarantino's usual shenanigans like foot fetishes and overwritten monologues. Ironically I like The Hateful Eight a lot less than Glorious and Django, but either way I've been hoping Tarantino moves away from these genre films he's been trying and dip back into the degenerate criminal world. His new project doesn't sound like anything like this though, but the premise is really intriguing. The most fascinating yet from Quentin really in a long time. The plot outline is as follows. TV actor and his stunt double embark on an odyssey to make a name for themselves in the film industry during the Charles Manson murders in 1969 Los Angeles. That sounds pretty cool and there's a lot there to play with. The Manson family were fascinating and horrible and no doubt Tarantino will add his demented ankle to that story. It's apparently not about the Manson family themselves per se, a bit like how Inglorious wasn't exactly about Hitler, and the script setup has been compared to Pulp Fiction. There's a lot of potential in this and I found myself genuinely excited for a Tarantino film for the first time in years and this is coming from someone who feels his best films are behind him. The title, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, is a little unoriginal and schlocky but I suppose in usual Tarantino fashion he needs to ensure the world is aware he knows who Sergio Leone is and has a massive hard on for him. But the most thrilling thing about the film is currently the cast. Holy cannoli, have you seen who's going to be in this movie? It's like Tarantino saw the cast list for Scorsese's upcoming The Irishman and thought, Pah, hold my beer, I can easily top that. Bearing in mind there are people being added to the movie as we speak, the cast currently includes Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Margaret Robbie, Timothy Oliphant, Al Pacino, Kurt Russell, Burt Reynolds, James Marston, Dakota Fanning, Emily Hirsch, Luke Perry, Tim Roth, Clifton Collins Jr, Zoe Bell, Damian Lewis and Michael Madsen. Hot damn, that is one heck of a cast isn't it? I think for sure it's well within the rights of being in the conversation for the best ensemble film of all time. What's even more exciting is how varied and diverse the cast is. You've got Hollywood's biggest stars like DiCaprio and Robbie, Tarantino veterans like Roth and Madsen and revered legends like Pacino and Reynolds. Damn, is Reynolds even still alive? And Pacino, one of my favourite actors, releasing two movies directed by Scorsese and Tarantino for the first time in the same year. And then there's personal favourites like Madsen and Russell, like the latter of whom is going through a career resurrection really, having starred in some big movies in the last few years. It's not just the cast but how they'll be used, Tarantino has his faults but the way in which he utilises his cast is not usually one of them. Famously mixing current stars and has-beens in need of comebacks, unknowns and non-actors, and famous faces hidden in heavy makeup like Mike Myers in Inglorious. It's not as if we'll see all these guys dominate the runtime at the same time, what with Reynolds apparently not being in the best of health and the likes of Madsen and Roth apparently only having very small roles but it's still a fantastic lineup. Some details have been released on who is playing who, DiCaprio is the closest thing to the main character for example in this ensemble and is playing the struggling former TV star and Brad Pitt is his stunt double. His neighbour Margaret Robbie is playing Sharon Tate who of course was infamously murdered by the Manson cult and Burt Reynolds plays a hotel or diner owner and Al Pacino is DiCaprio's agent. Tarantino had initially also had Tom Cruise, Samuel L. Jackson and Jennifer Lawrence on his wish list for the movie but it seems they won't be in it, otherwise you'd think the castings would have already been announced by now. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is definitely going to be one to watch out for. The film is set for release in August 2019. Thanks for watching.